Hello friends, welcome back to Topper's World. My name is Praveen Kumar. Here I am going to discuss with you 9 things that prevent you from getting 7 Ben in IELTS speaking exam. And do you know what those things are? These are very common things. Before discussing those things to you, let me uh, discuss one thing. If you ask me uh, which is the easiest module in IELTS exam, then my opinion is speaking. Speaking is the easiest module in IELTS because in speaking test examiner is expecting from you your opinions regarding the things that happen around us in our life. He is not going to ask any uh, bookish thing or academic thing here. He is asking or she is asking simply general things that are like by us, disliked by us, our opinions. However, majority of students feel nervousness. They get sick of uh, speaking test. They have a lot of stress in their mind when they, uh, when they go for their IELTS speaking test. So in this video, I'm going to share nine common things or common mistakes that students commit. If you don't commit these things, you surely get seven bands. This is video very, very important for you. So please watch this video till end. So first and the foremost, the most uh, serious mistakes they make is the first problem that I have seen in most of the students is regarding fluency. Most of the students think that fluency means speaking in a great speed, speaking fastly. This will have great impression on the examiner. It's not like that. And on the other hand, some students speak very slowly. They have very long pauses. So both mistakes cut your score. You have to speak at your natural pace. The way you speak with your friends, the way you speak at your home, in the same way, the same tone you have to speak. So don't assume that by having a very fast uh, sentences or words, it, it will give you positive effect. Uh, it will give positive effect on your examiner. No, it is surely going to cut your marks. So have your natural speed, neither too fast nor too slow. Long pauses also and the, you know, sounds like, hmm, uh, these will reduce your score. So have natural pace, speak at natural speed and with some short pauses, natural pace with short pauses so that examiner can give you response. I have seen that many students keep on speaking without getting the response uh, or emotional, uh, you know, response or feedback from the examiner. So this is a one sided uh, communication, which is uh, quite boring. Avoid it. Many students while speaking, they don't make eye contact. Either they look down, either they look on left side or right side, but they don't try to make eye contact with the examiner. And some students are there who keep on staring at examiner for a long time. Both things are wrong. You should look at the examiner, make eye contact, which doesn't mean that you should keep on looking at watching him you can turn your eyeballs left and right and again come back to examiner's face and uh, uh, totally not making eye contact is extremely bad it will extremely reduce your score so have a reasonable eye contact with your examiner you should practice this with your friends with your family members talk to them face them face to face and uh, speak in this way some students of, are having habit of using very simple low level words for every answer. If the question is, uh, uh, do you like uh, homemade food? Yes, I like homemade food. It is good. Uh, do you like restaurant food? No, I do not like restaurant food. It is bad. Do you like historical places? Yes, I like historical places. They, they give us good experience. Or uh, do you like Taj Mahal? Yes, I like Taj Mahal. So they use a lot of simple words. If you use simple words, you will get simple score. If you will use extraordinary word, but related, not I'm not here saying that you should use very tough vocabulary, but it should not be like good or bad. It should be related. Like, for example, uh, if you have to admire food, then you should say delicious. If the food is not uh, tasty, you can say it's tasteless. If you talk about uh, uh, admiring, uh, if, you have, if you have to praise uh, some beautiful buildings like this, you can say 
मार्वलस डिजाइंस और स्प्लेंडर स्प्लेंडर डिजाइंस और सो इन दिस वे यू हैव टू लर्न स्पेसिफिक वर्ड्स टू प्रेज द थिंग्स और क्रिटिसाइज द थिंग्स सो अवॉइड यूजिंग लो लेवल वर्ड्स बिकॉज दे आर थर्ड फोर्थ क्लास स्टैंडर्ड वर्ड्स सो अवॉइड यूजिंग दैम इट हैज बीन सीन दैट लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स यूज टू मैनी सिंपल सेंटेंस सब्जेक्ट टू वर्ब ऑब्जेक्ट एंड दे डोंट मेक लॉन्ग सेंटेंसेज दे डोंट यूज कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंसेज दे डोंट एड वराइटी इन देयर सेंटेंसेज दे डो नॉट यूज पैसे वॉइस और कंडीशनल सेंटेंसेज सो दे लूज मार्क्स ट्राई टू यूज complex sentences while speaking have good knowledge of you know passive voice conditional sentences if you make use of my father is hard working my father goes to office daily my father loves me my father this or that they are very simple avoid these sentences try to learn high quality sentences which are very important in our speaking to impress the examiner to get more bang from him this is the problem of students whose english is weak they give unrelated answers or sometimes they give too uh, so many lengthy answers or sometimes they give answers of those questions which are not asked or which the examiner is going to ask in the in, in the next question and they answer in the previous one so they take away next question of the examiner be focused on the question if the question says why then you have to give the reasons if the question says how how it is done then you have to tell the method or way of doing the things so be careful what examiner is asking you and only give that answer and uh, you can add examples you can add more sentences and uh, extend your answer but should be related not you should you shouldn't answer uh, unnecessary things over there this will reduce your score seriously some students develop the habit of just giving crammed answers they take some speaking books and learn the answers from them and uh, and the same speak in front of examiner examiner is searching for your opinions your ideas and thoughts they are very expert and they can make quick judgment that this answer is crammed or this answer is a, a original answer to so try to give your own answers you need not to cram the things you should say those things that you do in your life suppose if you have a hobby of uh, um, chatting on mobile phone then you should say that if you have a hobby of gardening you should sw- speak about that and uh, don't try to say same things that all the students in these days telling like my hobby is reading books listening music reading books listening music these are the crammed things avoid these things try to give your original thoughts or original experience you should share with the examiner that will make examiner uh, take interest in your talks if the examiner start taking interest in your answers uh, you you feel that that you then then you feel that you are on a right track if examiner is, he feels that you are uh, saying the crammed or uh, the same things that everybody is speaking then you will sc- uh, you will get less scores it is the problem of almost every student they get nervous uh, actually exam is every exam has some factors of nervousness but getting too much nervous is really bad it will uh, it will not have a good impression you will not have a good impression on your examiner so nervousness comes when you take the things in a very serious mat- manner if you think that this test is very big test and it will affect your life whole life then you will get ne- naturally you will get a lot of nervousness so assume that this is just a test and it is not going to affect your life you are bigger than test your life is bigger than the test in this way your nervousness level will decrease moreover uh, many students while speaking don't have a smile on their face and a lack of smile and emotionless face make you feel nervous and examiner will judge that you will uh, you you are in nervousness and the in our in nervousness either you will start speaking very fast or start speaking very slow or your mind uh, will not work according to you the question will be different and answer you will give that will be totally different and uh, some of the students uh, tremble their legs tremble and uh, they make lot of body movements this 
they move, uh, they you know bend left side, bend right, and uh, too much body activities they do. So they are the clear, clear signs that you are nervous now. So try to practice your IELTS speaking in such a way to minimize your nervousness. Some students believe that if they copy foreign style English like American slangs or American style of uh, speaking or talking or English style, then they will get more bands. It's not like that. Our native language is going to have effect on our pronunciation and that cannot, that cannot be avoided. So don't do artificiality, don't bring drama in your talks, whatever the pronunciation you have, you should speak. Try to speak in a gentle way, in a natural way and uh, to get the right kind of pronunciation you should watch some English news channels, they speak very well over there, try to copy them. But speaking in American style or accent is wrong or English accent is wrong, it will decrease your score. So don't try to copy American accent, we can't speak like them, we have to speak in our natural style, that will give you a high score. Number ninth is certain myths that student keep in their mind or these are the illogical belief systems they have. <clears throat> For example, most of the students say that if they get South Indian examiner then they will not get the score. Uh, if they get male examiner, then they will not get the score. If they get the very old examiner in age, then they will never get the high score. These are the totally wrong things or wrong illogical belief systems that students have developed in their brain. I don't know why they get such ideas, but these are totally wrong things they have fo they are following. These kind of things will definitely reduce your score. So don't follow any superstition. Don't follow any illogical belief. This is the test to judge your capability, judge your English efficiency. They are not going to ask you. They have no means. They are not your enemies or they are not uh, deliberately, you know, uh, giving you uh, poor score. They will score, give you score according to your performance. They have no bias, no issues about you. So stay positive, go to exam center in a positive note it with a positive mood and feel that I'm going to talk to a person, a new person and I'm just going to have a talk with him and don't think beyond that. Don't take it that it's a question of your life, it's a question of your reputation. Some students uh, start assuming that IELTS speaking is a question of their reputation. If they will not get six or seven bands then what the other people will think about them. Have, don't have such kind of illogical things. Be positive, stay tuned, stay healthy and have a positive mood while going to our speaking test. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.